salute, salute. Salute to God, the most high, the creator of everything. Salute to all my day ones. Salute to the new subscribers. If you're just now stumbling across my platform, as you come in, make yourself at home by wiping your feet on my welcome mat. Hit that like button, subscribe button, notification bell. And trolls, only God and your mama can love you. Last but not least. Last but not least. Last but certainly not least. Y'all hold them up. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. One time. Yeah, yeah. I say, one time. Yeah, yeah. I say, one time. Yeah. One time for the Uncut Squad. One time for the Gifted Family. One time for Big Bro's Corner. Big Bro's Backup. One time for the Messiah. You know, the most high to save the real MVP, y'all. And two salutes to the G.O.D., the most high. Here we go. I know y'all see my blanket here. I've been, I sleep on my sofa when Mrs. Uncut has to work overnight. You know, you get used to holding somebody and they feel good in your arms. You don't want to lay in bed unless they there, y'all. I got spoiled, y'all. I done got spoiled. Mr. Uncut. Mr. Uncut is, um, I'm in love. All right, and I'm happy about that. Listen, to the point. No one ever said that it was going to be easy. No one ever said that it was not going to be challenging. No one ever said that you were not going to run into potholes in the road in the midst of your journey, okay? Sometimes these things are thrown your way to really measure your growth level, to see how far you've come, to see how you deal with situations, handle situations, in all situations, God protects his children. You know, God protects his children. And that's something that we have to give the most high credit for. There's going to be things that happen in your life. And y'all, I just want to talk to you from the heart tonight. Just a common sense, you know, conversation, common sense video. While you're on your inspirational slash spiritual journey, there's going to be people who are going to lift you up. There's going to be people who are going to help you redefine who you are. And there's going to be people who are going to remind you of who you no longer want to be. Okay? The people who are there to remind you of who you no longer want to be or what you no longer want to go through, these people serve one purpose. And excuse my language, but it's to piss you off. It's to piss you off. See, they know you're trying to change, but their number one job is to troll you and to prove that you are not who you say you are. And sometimes these individuals win. You know, we can call it the devil. We can call it the demon. We, we can call it spirits and principalities, whatever the deity is. It's real. Okay. Which makes your spiritual battle real, which makes your journey real which makes your fight real. And in the end, it ultimately makes your victory real. No one is perfect. We're all going to sin and fall short of the glory of God. We all get angry. Even Jesus got angry. We all cry. Even Jesus wept. Okay? But it's not what you go through. It's how you come out of it. It's how you come out of it. And when you notice that God and the universe starts to take certain things and certain people out of your life and starts to implement more positive people and more positive things into your life, he's already like a GPS system rerouting you, rerouting you for safe travel and for safe arrival. We can't allow this world to pull us down. One thing you have to do, even in the spirit, even if you're religious, no matter what it is, you could be an atheist, but you have to keep pushing. You have to keep pushing. You can't give anyone a remote control to your actions, a remote control to your reactions, a remote control to your emotions. You can't. You can't. And there's people out there who are designed to wake up early in the morning, 
until they go to bed late at night by pushing every button on every human being that they can ultimately find. The more you resist, the more you pass these tests, the more they are going to reluctantly come after you. The more they are going to reluctantly test you. Okay? And we feel like these people don't serve a purpose. But when you look at it from a spiritual standpoint, based on where you've been and where you are now, where you were and where God has put you now in deliverance, it's a test. It's a quest. Okay? Because even God allow Jesus to be tempted by the devil. You know, so who are we to not be tempted? Y'all excuse my PJs, you know, it's like 1.07 a.m., you know. But who are we not to be tempted as well? But it's up to us to act in the integrity, in the spirit, in the image of the Son of Man himself and know when God is allowing us to be tested and to pass those tests. Okay, don't let anyone throw you off of your path. Don't let anyone destroy your goodness. Don't let anyone tank your spirit. Don't let anyone obstruct your journey. Don't let anyone steal your joy. Don't let anyone forfeit the good person that you've become, the greatness, the richness that you found that's been exhibited and manifested by your Father above. None of us deserve this. But if He see fit and He finds favor, to bless you, then there's something you're doing right. There's something that he's rewarding you for. And we have to look at it that way. Keep pushing through life. No matter what happens, know that this too shall pass. Push through. God protects his people. You can come face to face with the devil himself. But when the word says that no weapon formed against you shall prosper, and you've got angels protecting you, it will be exhibited in your time of need. Trust me. Trust me. You have nothing to fear. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. This world is afraid for people like you and I to be different. See, they want all of us to think on one accord. They want all of us to believe the same thing. They want all of us to act the same way. See, it's okay. It's okay if you're someone of the LBGT community and this isn't a shot, this is just an example. You know, you have backup. You have people out here, a whole movement, who will back you up because they believe that you should be able to love who you want to love. Okay, that's different. You have people out here who dress different who wear hoodies and jogging pants in the summertime, in 80, 90 degree weather right here in Florida. That's different. But there's a group of people who do this. You have people who believe in God. You have people who don't. You have people who vote Republican. You have people who vote Democrat. Now, here's where the world starts to judge you. See, if you want to love someone of the same sex, that is okay with the world. But if you want to think outside the box on a higher level, if you want to actually question things that you find religiously that don't make sense to you, if you vote different from what other people want you to vote, then you're ostracized. You're cast out. This world is afraid for everyone to be different. But every change in the world was made by someone who dared to be different. People who are the same really don't get much done. It's people who think different, act different, see things different. That gets things done. Be the person that gets things done. God made all of us different. It says in Deuteronomy, we shall be scattered among many nations and we shall speak many different tongues. Don't let anyone play on your belief system. Don't let anyone down you because you're different. Don't let anyone destroy your journey and who you have become through the mighty grace of God. All right. I just feel like it was important to get that out there, y'all. If you're going through something, repent. We're not perfect. 
we are not perfect. We are perfectly imperfect. Okay? So, don't expect to pass every test with flying colors. But learn to repent with flying colors. And learn to keep pushing, keep moving, and use every experience for a lesson. And turn every lesson into a blessing. With that being said, get your one-on-one. -on -one, get your one-on-one. -on -one, get your one-on-one -on -one with your higher power. And dare to be different, y'all. Stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. Stay meditated up. Stay protected. Stay real. Stay woke. Stay uncut. Be inspired. Be great. Be you. Be different. Don't be a follower. Be a leader. I'll shake.